Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I posted a video that Chrome is getting the ability to configure how aggressive it saves memory. And this is a new feature that's rolling out for the memory saver uh, in Chrome Canary 126, which is the latest preview version. And I'll leave that video in the end screen. Now, just to let you know about another uh, change and new feature that Google now is starting to roll out in Chrome Canary 126 in regards to the memory saver. And as we can see, there's a new toggle that lets you disable the dotted ring that appears around the actual favicon when a tab is discarded in Chrome. So the setting is in active tabs appearance, a dotted circle appears around site icons. And uh, just to cut to the chase, if we just look at this uh, GIF, we can see that dotted circle. So this is what this feature is all about. So when a tab becomes inactive and is basically um, discarded by Google Chrome, that little dotted circle appears around the favicon for that actual um, tab. And this is what that setting is all about. So inactive tabs appearance, a dotted circle appears around site icons. So you'll be able to turn that off um, when your tabs uh, become uh, inactive or you'll turn it on and then you will see that little dotted circle around the favicon of the actual uh, inactive tab. And this feature is not available as yet in stable. It's still very early days. And if you want to test it out in Canary, all you do is head to your experimental flags page and you just uh, enter discard. There we go. There's the flag. Enable improvements for the discard tab treatment. When enabled, the discard ring will be larger and have reduced transparency. You need this flag on to get that setting. And obviously you change it to enable, you re restart your uh, browser and inactive tabs appearance, you'll be able then to turn off that dotted circle that appears around site icons. Or if you prefer it on, um, then you can just toggle that on. And Google is giving this memory saver quite a lot of attention because in less than 24 hours now, I've posted two videos regarding um, so-called changes and improvements that are bringing to memory saver. So obviously they're trying to get on par here with Microsoft Edge quite a bit because um, Edge, um, with Microsoft Edge, Microsoft has pushed a lot of performance um, options out into the um, the actual browser of late, and they've just pushed out a RAM limiter, which I've posted on, and I'll also leave that video uh, in the end screen. So just keeping you guys posted if you are interested in new features that could possibly roll out in an up and coming stable version, especially when it comes to the performance of the Google Chrome web browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.